Hey, it's Kiat. So the concept of today's doll is quite odd. Um, how do I explain this? Ah, imagine this. You're living your best life in the 90s. And then one day you get invited to a costume party. And the theme is the 50s. The night is here. You dress yourself up, throw on your best 50s dress that you found in your mother's dresser and head out. But outside, you realize it's pouring buckets. So you grab your umbrella, not knowing that the weather forecast was actually right this one time, that there was a thunderstorm coming to town. You don't have a car, so you walk all the way to the party and your shoes start getting soaked. Nonetheless, you keep on walking. The sky is black, pitch black, and the rumbling that seems so far away keeps getting louder and louder. You feel your skin prickling until suddenly the sky became light as day and an enormous force struck the very spot you stood, leaving you with nothing but burnt hair tips and a permanently shocked expression. I hope you get the picture. My actual inspiration was actually this one episode. When I saw it, I immediately went, oh, yes. So I unconventionally started out with the hair, which I needle fed. I step, 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 and keep on stabbing until I have the texture I want. When that's finished, I glue on the doll's head and may I say, oh, you look so cute. No, not you, the doll. But I'm sure you're cute too. So that was the base for the actual main attraction of this doll. I want a really cartoony look of the hair standing off the head in lightning form. Yes, just like this. So I go in and step, 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 step. Oh yes, do you see this shapeless blob of wool? Have to step it at least 5000 times more. And finished. The power of editing. I shouldn't undersell myself, this took a whole evening. After that is finished, I throw on a tissue to protect this precious hair from the evil sealant and start the actual face up. Um, featuring my hair, popping in and out of existence. I swear I had to cut out so much because my boobas hair would just not stop covering the process. So for her expression, I wanted her to look like she got surprised rather than actually roasted by the lightning. In my mind, I wanted to give her one of these surprised pin-up girl expressions from the 50s. Almost a comedic surprise that actual shock. Although I was fighting with her lip shape because the sides of her mouth were further down than I thought. As in proper 50s costume attire, I blush her cheeks quite extensively and shade the rest of her face as well. Oh look, I already went in with a black pencil. Why you ask? Hair. You didn't really miss anything, I just went over with a black pencil a few times, just like now. Here I turn the needles in a different location because the sealant would get into the hair underneath. I will poke myself about three times with them. Here I go in and give more detail to the eyelashes. I wanted to give her a typical night makeup from the 90s. A lot of blues and blacks. And I mean a lot. Oh god, my hair. Anyway, since the whites wouldn't add up anymore, I go in with acrylic paint. And here is the finished face. Sorry that I didn't show how I drew the shinies in her eyes, but you know, hair. Let 
let's start the next step, the dress. Since I do suck at sewing and wanted a petticoat dress, I went to my stash of collected Monster High clothing and found this wonderful dress. It's exactly what I had in my mind, so I just used it. I redrew the polka dots with a clothing marker and cut and repaired any loose threads. And bam, 50s dress. After I unwrapped her head, I go through the tips of her hair with a comb to get any sealant out that managed to get underneath the head toe. She looks amazingly unpleased with this. It's almost over, sweetie. Ah yes, my favorite part, the glossing. I just love gloss. I want to lick it. Here is what makes this doll so funny. Her lightning hair. Bye! One little lightning, two little lightning, three little lightning, four little lightning, five... What am I doing here? Okay, stop playing with it. So to attach the lightning hair, I needle felt them into the other needle felted hair. I took some loose wool and stabbed it into the base where the extra hair and the normal hair would connect. To give them a better hold so they wouldn't flop over. Yeah, that took forever. Let me speed things up. And here is the finished hair! She looks so good! Now I dress up again. Wait, something is still missing. Uh, oh yeah, shoes! For the shoes I took these monster high heels that had a really peculiar shape, almost like they got sapped as well. I found that to be a nice touch. But the color is whack. I covered the shoe in base color, in this case white. Oh, it's one of my lists. Uh, I forgot to turn it over. What's on there? Oh yeah, a reminder to finally finish my other video about the Flavor Girls. That tells you how old this repaint actually is. I have a giant backlog of footage of several finished dolls and projects that I still want to edit and upload. It would help me a lot if you like and subscribe so I know that there are people watching my videos and want to see more. Thank you! Where was I? Oh yeah, the shoes. After painting them flaming red, I redraw the outline of the pattern on the shoes in white and black. After everything is dry, I coat the shoes in matte varnish and after that is dry, I gloss only the red part of the shoe. I imagine a punky leather boot. Now on to accessories. No one would go out without at least 3 necklaces and 20 rings, right? Or is that just me? Anyway, these are all my treasures as though I mean collected of the old monster hydros I have in my stock box. It's a lot. Joking. This is old footage. I have even more now. So I chose this simple bracelet, although it had this hideous lavender shade. I painted it with acrylic paint. You can basically paint everything in acrylic paint. Just paint all over it. I chipped ways, acrylic paint. An ugly container, thousand in acrylic paint. You got fired, just flood your former's works with acrylic paint. All your problems will be gone. So anyway, I started painting. I gave her a simple red and white pearl necklace. And since I couldn't find earrings to my liking in my treasure chest, I took this gold looking sequins, I swear they are pink not gold, and recolored them. They were almost too flat for my liking, so adding acrylic paint on them gives them some texture. Since the doll is supposed to be in the middle of some action, I glued the earrings not completely straight onto her but at a certain angle. So they look like they are floating in the wind. Or are getting thrown around by it. That's also a possibility. On to the very last part of the doll. That thing that actually caused her to get hit by lightning in the first place. Her umbrella. And ah, uh, I did some really stupid things that almost caused me to turn down. 
So for the base, I need a stick. That is really resilient. Maybe scissors can cut it? Okay, let's try the scalpel again. But this time with more force. Ah yes, finally! For the inner parting of the umbrella, I bent craft and wire in the shape and length I wanted to have. I have to remember that the wire needs some more length so I can connect it to the stick so it wouldn't flay around. After one base form is set, I sketch the overall shape of the umbrella and count how many pieces I will need. Please ignore my start drawing skills, I don't have any. After that is set, I draw the length of the base wire on the page and measure and measure and measure and measure. Five more times. them all cut out, I bent them to the exact shape of the base wire. Stupidly, I thought I could just glue metal to wood, so see me struggle. Oh, and here I thought I could wrap them into a piece of fabric and just hold them better. Spoiler, it didn't. After some failures, I combined all of my attempts and managed to glue them somehow together. Look at this wonderful contraption I created. To hide the ugly part where all the wires touch, I wrap a nice brown string around. I want to have a transparent umbrella. For that I used this, I actually forgot what it is, but it caused a buttload of problems, you see in a second. So I glued the plastic onto the wire. It didn't matter if I went over the edges, I would cut them off anyway. Before I show you my absolute stupid idea, hear me out on what I wanted to do. I thought, since she was struck by lightning, not only her hair would be electrified, but also her umbrella. So my brain said, use a lighter to make burr marks with the umbrella, it works surely like paper. Spoiler, it didn't. I let you now see the clip, but promise me never to be as stupid as I am. I'm so, so, so stupid. Imagine that would have fallen onto the ground or something flammable. Anyway, I decided getting burned down for a doll isn't worth it, so I continued with a more normal option. Cutting pieces out of scissors.
The umbrella is almost finished, only the handle is missing now. I take a two-part epoxy and repair a waist? That's actually my mother's waist that had a part chipped off. Free waist repairing tutorial! To hide the ugly parting on the tip of the umbrella, I form a little ring and stuff it right in there. Don't worry, it will be prettier later. Onto the actual handle now. I form an elongated bean and form it around the handle until I'm satisfied with the result. I'm not a particular fan of the stubby umbrella handle, so I form the round part after the first part is partially dried. Waste repairing tutorial part 2! No way! After everything is dry, paint it with acrylic paint! Oh! Thank you for watching! Ah. Waste painting is a crucial part of painting a miniature umbrella, so don't skip it. Only then you can start with silver paint, otherwise the silver wouldn't stick. Then I also paint the handle and cover both of them in glossy varnish. Even though the concept is quite odd, I really like the outcome. I'm the opinion not all doors have to be sweet looking or be universal usable in all situations. You look at the doll and immediately know, oh yeah, she was struck by lightning. And I find that funny. I hope you like the doll as much as I do. And even subscribe after watching this. Anyway, thank you for watching, see you next time, ciao ciao!